All right, 2024 TE300. Today we're going to do... Hey, Maui. Today we're going to do traditional orange change. Just service, like we always do. Um, I started with removing the dash plate. Just two screws on both sides. This is not a traditional one, but uh, the regular one has two screws that actually comes from that side. One, two and then you can pull it out. I always like to start with removing like most of the plastics, so. I just cleaned it yesterday, so I'll probably just do a new filter. Um, clean it nice, there is. Put some oil on it, put it in there, make sure this is all clean and nice so I can warm up the bike too. Okay, done, put a new one in. So we start with checking the fluid level on the brakes. We come here, see that this is all good, it's about the minimum. And we go to the rear, right side, over here, make sure it's about the minimum. Next, I like to check the lever free. See it's right where I need it to be. Um, this is the clutch. Also, I want to see that there's some freedom here, but nothing too loose. I like also to check the steering head um, bearing, if there is any um, weird. When I do this, usually I'm just pulling the bike back and forth. When it's on the stand, I want to feel if there's any like wiggle, um, but there's nothing. Also, I like to turn both ways see there's no any weird resistance to any of the sides it's going equally from both sides i like to do it also on the rear wheel i want to move it up and down and to the sides make sure there's no any weird uh loose bearing all right chain tension i like to come right behind the chain guide and my measurement is usually three fingers uh, from that point. So I just put my finger here, putting three fingers when it fits in right, it feels good. I might need to give it a slight, maybe one millimeter, two millimeters adjustment, um, but all in all, it looks okay. Adjusting the, tent, the chain tension, taking a 30, opening the rear, Make sure it's loose and nice. Then I'll start adjusting that screw on the other screw on the other side. Make sure they're even. There's a little measurement here to tell you how much you can, how much you push it. So you want to make sure that this side and the other side are equal. The full bolt here is 13. And you release it first. And the second one here is a 10. And you basically want to turn it to get to the point where you wanted the wheels to be. Let's say I put it somewhere there. And then you start locking the other the other guy, but also doing for the other side. Well, I moved it just a bit. Now I'm putting like the almost, it's basically two and a half fingers. So it's perfectly now. So we're gonna do a spoke tension check. Just gonna ding it and listen to the sound. They all need to be equal around the same sound. When it's lower, you need to tighten it. When it's higher tone, you need to loosen it, so. I like to check the coolant level as well. When the bike is even, looking in. Making sure I don't see like the radiators, I actually see the color of the coolant. That looks good. Alright, so we're going to open the bolt right underneath the, the shifter. We're going to take the oil cup and then we're gonna drain the other side. And let all drain. I'll take out the screw. 
clean it. Everything will be good. So I like to give it a little good clean with some uh, like you know brake cleaner or something. Making sure there's no like any residue of the metals on the magnet. Uh, take a new copper washing ring, put it on, and we want to torque it to 20 Nm or 14.8 uh, pound torque. And then we're gonna fill 0.8 of a liter or 0.85 of quartz to this guy. So we have the torque of, to 14.8. That's it. That's it. Now we're going to fill, this is a liter. We're gonna go all the way until we get to the 200 and then we're gonna measure on the bike. So I put a tiny bit more, but there is a screw on the bike and I'll show you that you take out and it will adjust the weight, the height. So we put the bike on the stand and it's horizontal. And right on the right side, right here, there's a screw number eight, I think. And we're gonna open it and we need to see that there's a little oil draining out of there. Um, which it should drain oil. So we drain it just a bit to see that everything is cool. Then we're gonna close it. So we open it a little, let some oil drain out. I'm um, gonna torque it back. It's eight Newton meter torque back, which is like very pretty light or 5.9 um, pound torque. And I'm just gonna close it. Now we'll do the throttle valve position. I saw a trick somebody posted on Facebook and I loved it. Um, I put two basically paper paint. I mark the location with the other line. this angle this is fully closed then I'm gonna mark the fully open as well then I'm gonna see where is the halfway in so this is the fully closed fully open then we'll remove the seat then we're going to pull the diagnostic plug and here need to hold that little thing and pull it out that little thing that little thing right here we need to have one of those BH002 we don't connect it yet we're gonna go to the throttle we're gonna put it on the halfway position that I actually marked we're gonna hold it on the halfway position and then we're going to connect it. Then we're gonna hear the pump doing some noises um, in a few. Okay, I'm holding halfway position. Of course, everything is with one hand. Plug it in. Five seconds. Okay. After you release it here, click, click. Then there was another noise here. Another noise. And I guess that's it. So I put the plug back in, put it back in spot. The idea is that you need to hear, you need to hold the throttle for, for at least five seconds. I like to hold it for 10 seconds on the end, 50%. And then you leave it, keep this plugged and you hear two clicks from here. And then three times the pump will do just this electric sound. One, two, three. And then after the third one, you can just leave it and you can disconnect it. I'm gonna start the bike and see so everything is cool. Nice, 
Oh, fuck. the bike run a little just to make sure the oil is going to go spinning through the gear and that's it she's ready to rock thank you for watching